In this video we're going to look at how to successfully grow zucchini. Zucchini is one of the most productive plants of a garden producing a lot of edible flowers and fruit. Stick with us and we'll show you what you need to know to get you started. Hi I'm Rob from Sustainable Journey. Zucchini is also called courgette, squash, marrow, summer squash and gourd. Zucchini is a must grow in any garden as it is filled with beneficial vitamins and minerals. You will get so much nutritional benefit from your own fresh produce that you can easily grow in your own garden. You will never look back. Zucchini is rich in multiple antioxidants including several important nutrients, folate, potassium and vitamin A. And is also low in calories, sugar and fat. So let's get you growing zucchini. What you will need is an area or pot to grow your plant and some seeds or seedlings you will have to get from a nursery. The best position to grow a zucchini is in an area with full sun and room to spread out. They like over 6 hours of sun a day so look for a sunny position, preferably with morning sun. Spacing is a big issue with zucchinis. We have a small yard and really like to cram in as many plants as we can. Zucchinis are quite a large plant and the recommended spacing is 1 metre or 3 feet. You can get away with narrowing the planting recommendations with a lot of other plants. But I have found the zucchinis really need this space when fully grown. However, if you're a fan of pruning, you can make this area smaller, but it's challenging. They really like to grow fast. The zucchini needs a lot of rich, well-drained soil as it is a heavy nutrient feeder. Mix in a reasonable amount of aged manure and compost into your soil before planting. Check out our composting or soil improvement videos on how to easily improve your soil quality or make compost yourself for free. Plant your zucchinis after the last frost. Frost will kill them. Plant seeds in spring or when soil temperatures reach a minimum of 15 degrees Celsius or 59 degrees Fahrenheit to a depth of 2 centimetres or 1 inch. Or if you have sprouts, plant them level with the soil and water. Fertilise your zucchini plants regularly with a monthly application of blood and bone or organic liquid fertiliser, especially when the plant is fruiting. They really do use a lot of nutrients from the soil that needs to be replenished. Zucchinis will need to be watered regularly when they are fruiting and the weather is hot, which is normally the same time. Avoid watering the leaves as this can lead to fungal problems. Watering at their base will keep them strong, healthy and producing lots of fruit. Mulching is important with all plants and the zucchini is no exception. They really benefit from a layer of mulch covering the soil, protecting the zucchini from contact with the soil. We use a layer of sugarcane mulch, but any other local type you have will also retain 70% of the moisture in the soil for the plant to use. Make sure you harvest your zucchinis when they are reasonably small. They taste a lot better when they're small and the plant will make it up by growing a lot more. Regular harvesting is a great way to ensure higher production from most plants and zucchinis are no exception. Some types of zucchini flowers are edible and nice to eat stuffed and fried. In this regard it's best to eat male flowers as the females are the ones that will grow the fruit. So look out for the flowers on the thin stems. They are the male. The female has the thicker stem because that's where the zucchini grows from. Fresh zucchini is always welcome at our dinner table. Young zucchini seedlings are vulnerable to snails and slugs. You can protect your plants using snail and slug pellets or traps. Disease such as powdery mildew or downy mildew can become a problem. If you see it, remove infected leaves and spray with a suitable organic fungicide. Pro tip, if you have to remove any diseased parts of a plant, make sure you clean your pruning shears after use so you don't spread the infection to other plants. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this helpful. Subscribe and share with friends if you want to see more related content. If you haven't already seen them, check out our other how-to videos for top tips on all things garden.